there's been surprisingly little talk about money in this election. Maybe it's gone out of fashion. But I dare say it'll swing back to our attention soon. It always does. So what's the election choice when it comes to money? Well, according to the experts, the main two parties each have some ambitious fantasies. Labour have big fat spending ideas, but their tax plans to pay for them all are unrealistic. They want to raise money from big corporations and fat cats, but will struggle to get as much as they assume. The Conservatives' vision is of a low-tax, slim-down state, but they have only a slim chance of getting there, as experience tells us they always end up having to pour extra money into public services after all. So your choice is which flawed plan do you prefer? The one that says you can painlessly raise tens of billions of extra revenue, or the one that says you can painlessly save money on public services. But here's the thing. Holes in the plans there may be, but whoever wins may just find a little magic bag of money to help ease those painful choices. It won't be our money, of course. It'll be money we borrow from someone else. Credit is available and we'll probably have to use it if spending is higher or revenues lower than planned. And that's okay. If things go to plan, we can probably afford to borrow more than we're currently expecting anyway. If things don't go to plan, well, that's when we'll certainly need to talk more about money. <laughs>